for yours. It'll yeah. cut out. You might have bars. Just go to the Wi-Fi. Hey, the internet's cut out in our episodes a lot of times. <laughs> exactly it's not going right. to be anything new for the new Just for ev- anyone tuning in, anyone that's with us. Oh, no one's really with us yet, so we'll we'll wait. We can we can. <laughs> people don't even know we're live. Take that out. Just we say can. there's like a million people watching, Joe. Yeah, we can. No one knows. We can we can tell everyone once we've done this a little bit. Uh, we're talking pre-show about. You're deflated now. Yeah. I'm not. I'm fine. We're good. We're okay. good. Uh, flights. Yes. Yeah. Still sweating. We're lock loaded. But <laughs> we're done. Except Joe. Joe hasn't How is locked it? in anything yet. No. He will. I book flights for May. I'm going back in May. That shows his yeah. importance, Jules. Well, no, I've got, yeah. I do have his uh, priorities. Joe's got a big year, but that doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, let's talk about, Joe over let's you. Talk Joe. about Joe. everyone's got a big year, yeah? Let's talk Carlton about, Football let's Club has a big year. Dan and Jules instead. You two booked the same flight to Madrid. You didn't even know. Didn't even know. <laughs> oh, man. Are we not going to have a party? <laughs> I've never seen Jules this excited oh, for the man. fact that he knows they're going to be on the same flight. <laughs> How, like, if anything was ever going to happen, it's unbelievable. For that to happen is a joke. I'd half tell Belen to move seats. Oh, and she yeah. can sit in my seat. I'll sit next to you. Oh, 100%. And then I'll be coming home with you from you. Yeah, I can, this stage. I can, I can she be happy. I can she be happy to. <laughs> this trip's becoming really good. Cool. You know I hope Belen's actually watching now. So she actually witnesses it firsthand. Yeah, there you go. Tell her, we're going on the same flight. <laughs> we'll take a taxi to the airport together. Do you know what? She actually actually does listen to our podcast, but yeah. obviously the intro, etc. She does watch a little bit after that. But um, she'll actually, you know, I might not tell her when I arrive home. I think I might so just she watches wait. It. Well, watches or listens to it. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? Yeah, we go. Tell the feedback about. Like, now he hasn't let go. He's now like Anthony too Clear. much. He's, He's like, like Anthony Clear. Clear. <laughs> at this point. Now just glued to my face. Just settle down a bit. (laughs) That's that's our moment. We finally, as a generation, we can hang our hat on a genuine moment. Honestly, we are a force because of the intensity that we play at is just next level. We want to be here. We want to impact finals. And it's one thing that's obviously saying it, but we just lived it. Welcome, everyone, to episode 118 <laughs> of the Almost Blues Brothers podcast, part of the Blue Broad Media Network and proudly powered in 2024 by Image Online here uh, in Abbotsford. The studios here, they do live calling, they do jingles, they do obviously podcasting. So if you need any of that, Image Online, Abbotsford, hit them up. They're, they're brilliant. They've been brilliant for us this year, have they not? Yep. Yeah. No, well, they've provided us with this, haven't they? Unbelievable yeah, space. This space Can't is complain. unbelievable. And um, yeah, obviously the audio is great. Just um, the visual. But Boys. I think the visual has been working over the last couple of weeks, hasn't it, Joe? Yeah. It Let's has. be honest. It gives us an uh, excuse to get together. That's nice. It, it is gives good. us an excuse to get together. We didn't yeah. do it for a few years. Like, it was it was hard. I don't know if we need an ex- excuse. To we would have done it anyway. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, maybe some rumblings of a live show at some point here. Oh. I haven't I haven't floated it yet, but I was thinking about it today, so we'll discuss. But it. we've but, floated this live show, live show for yeah. A couple but we've of actually years got now. a space. We've actually got a space now, not in here in this room, but there may be another. So we're gonna have them. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have another <laughs> section. Anyway, I'll we'll discuss that another time. Uh, welcome to the night, uh, Blues two and But before we get to the footy, as we always do, we've already spoken about the flights, so forget that. But how are the rest of your weekends, boys, since Thursday? Good, just being um, obviously when you win, especially on a Thursday night, it sort of um, rolls into the weekend quite quite well, doesn't it? So, it does just been doing a bit of gardening and just trying to get as much as I can done. To you honest. gardening, can you explain? Oh, Jules? I'm not much of a gardener, but you know what? I'm trying to get my grass right. <laughs> I'm trying to get my grass oh, right when, when I when I bought nah, but I don't want to spend too much money. And uh, when I when I bought this place, um, when we actually went for the actual the last um, inspection. The grass was like two meters high. Inspection? Inspection. Inspection. I said inspection. <laughs> <laughs> Skeptical. <laughs> anyway, so obviously I got them to cut it and they did. But underneath there, there's a lot of dead grass. So um, you got to rejuvenate yeah, it. Yeah. So I'm, it's it's a slow process. Jules, you don't have to deep throat the mic. Fuck me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Jesus. I like, wanna, there's one thing. There's I just want to make sure. No, no, no. I want to make sure. You just, you, you don't, you just got a, a, a nice little. You, no, no. He's, he, you know what? It. It's better. It is better that you're doing that. But you like the like, It's better. You liking it, Joe? <laughs> I'm not, to be honest. Dan, uh, what did you get up to? Any gardening? You you don't mind your gardening? No, I'm good. I said if I didn't run 
my my business. I do a landscaping business. I think, Jim, said, I think you said you were going to do it regardless, did you? You're going to add it on as part of your PT like my services. I have to be <laughs> landscaping. I want it to be like Pov's mowing, and just have heaps of people mowing gr- gr- like grass. Oh, and that's stuff. an original idea. <laughs> oh, what Jim can't have competition. Yeah, but Jesus, but he, do you see how he says it like it's... You know, you laugh, but I know a couple of people that do the same business model and they're killing it. Yeah. Oh, but that's all right. <laughs> well, you know, while we're on it... No, you no, you got all the good ideas. No, while, no one else While does. we're on it, I, I, I have, we haven't done this this year, but your PT business, off you go. Be able to health and performance. <laughs> About you, for you, for you with, with you. you. There you go. It's growing. <laughs> we service all of Melbourne, mobile, and we have three facilities. Yep. Hit me up. Hit him up. Hit us up on the almost. If you're an athlete, Gmail. If, if you, need you to. just want to get strong, if you rehabbing, what rehabbing, are you, you guys know. Yeah, they know. Does everything. So I, if you if you're in need for a PT, if you want to get in shape, hit up Dan. Uh, if you go to piota.com.au, is that is that it? Yeah, yeah. You'll find all the. Or go to the Instagram. There. Go to the Instagram. Instagram at Piota. And my but accounts team will look after the inquiries. Your contact details are. Why all are you laughing? They're on the website. Are they not? I'm trying to direct them they to where they can contact yeah. you. Fucking hell. This is what There's I do. So the sponsorship much involved that. that. It's not funny. Anyway, no, it's, right. it's good. You're a good guy. Uh, now we good are. Guy. <laughs> we are on hotspot tonight. A yeah. uh, few Wi-Fi issues, but we're okay. And if if the video quality isn't great with wherever you're watching the live chat, let not? us know. But I think no, I think we're good. I think we're good. So hopefully we're good. Hopefully the sounds all good. Um, yeah, no, I had a good weekend. It was good. <laughs> we <won't> forget <laughs> to ask him. It'd be nice just one week that I like. You know why we have to host the? Sh- you know what? Can I host the show once? Can I do your role? You want to do this? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what all do you right. get? Inspection, inspection. To yeah. Do it. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll work out a week. <laughs> we should go on a three week. <laughs> Don't you reckon we should do it like every three weeks, like a like rotation? a rotating chair? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want to host? Please. You want to do what I do? So if you yeah. can do it, anyone can do it. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> I reckon I could do it. All right. I'll give you a test. You can test yourselves. You see how you go. Do you have notes? No notes, nothing. I've done play. it for how many episodes? Now? Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Wow. Anyway, it's like welcome, sporting warm. Welcome to the show. Too. Exactly right. It's that's, all the same after that. That's enough bullshit. Without any further ado, oh, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into this. Now, before we get into Thursday's review, last week, we someone sent in a doppelganger of me from the Israeli short film. Everyone remembers that. And I said, I put the call out. I said, if there's anyone that sees any doppelgangers or anything in particular, send them in. And we got we got a few, right? We got a couple of me to begin with again. And I'll, I'll start there. Shannon Gore from the cheer yeah, squad. That's a classic. Luigi, that is a classic. Yep. yep. Uh, now, Carlene, she sent this through on the Instagram as well. Guy called Piero Baroni. Uh, pretty bang on, Jules. Oh, yeah, that was. Um, could you imagine that about 15 years ago? Yep, no beard. Nah, uh, you know what? Spot on. Yep. When you when yeah. you didn't shave, yeah, yeah. when you, yeah, bang on. And when you shave, sorry, sorry well, yeah, yeah. When you shave. so that's me, but we had me last week. Tez sent this one through, and I don't remember the name of this actor, but that is bang on for <laughs> that. That <laughs> is Juice. Dan to a T. Juice, um, <laughs> what's it called Juice, Juice Bigelow? Bigelow, is it? Yeah, no, it is. no it's not. Is it yes, not? it is. Juice Bigelow, that bloke, yeah, it is. Is it a long hair bloke? And he's also from um, what's the Zorro? No, not Zorro. Zorro. <laughs> the the Egyptian film. Yeah, um, the, mummy. the mummy. The mummy. He's from the mummy. He's from the mummy. Right. But he's also from that. Juice uh, Bigelow as well. Anyway, that's that's Dan. Now, great, this, great movie. So they're they're the doppelgangers. Keep sending them through. They they're good. They give me laughter in the week. Hopefully, gives everyone else a laugh. But do people send more? But they're the best ones. No, no, that's what we got for okay. this week. No, we have got heaps more. I know, pa- we, should- we didn't. We People are sending Joe. them in. Dan. Oh yeah, we got hundreds. Joe? I just couldn't put them all up. Come on, man. We didn't. You <laughs> because I want to, you want to host the show now, so you're thinking, oh, how can I get in? Shut up. Now this wasn't a doppelganger. This was from Adrian, who saw us at the MCG on Thursday. He was sitting in the bay above us. We were M54. He must have been level two, just behind us. And he sent this through on the Instagram, and it was it was very good. It reads, question for the pod. Does Jules have bigger calves than Paolo Maldini? <laughs> I saw you guys last night. I said a level, a level above you guys at the G. Same bay. <clears throat> Jules? Talk about calves. What's your, what's, your, what's your gym routine, man? Well, when you have your best mate run a personal training um, business. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. 
Oh, oh, that good. Good. Oh, is very good. good. <laughs> hey, our chemistry. <laughs> oh, you know why? Same flight. Same flight. Same flight. Jules, well done there. Look at that. Jules does have very big calves, though. Yeah, that, he does. It's, it's the one honest. thing he can hang his head on. Yeah, they're massive. Yeah. One but, thing I can say but, to attest it? to that is Jules, when he used to play soccer, was quick. Yeah. Before, but, like, didn't look it. Before, before the groins. Before the groins and the hammies and, and yeah, the back. And, yeah, and the back. back. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. explains no, why. He had pace. He had genuine pace. Genuine pace. Yeah, but calves and up, they some work. Yeah, a lot. Nah, my quads, my quads are good. Your quads are. Uh, anyone yeah. else is good? My ass. What? <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> we're moving on. Jules says enough, and you're not hosting this show. No, you're never hosting this is show. It all right? No, it's good, that's yeah. enough. Listen, we're moving on. If you haven't, if you're here and you haven't already, go to the Instagram. You just said your ass. At, the, <laughs> at almost blues brother. At almost blues brothers. Follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. Twitter at almost blues bros. You can hit us up on our email, uh, almost blues brothers at gmail.com. And while you're here, like the video, it's free and subscribe to blue abroad. That's also free. It helps all of us in this, in this community immensely. Right. We're good tonight, aren't we? <clears throat> We're 10 minutes in and we haven't spoken one bit about footy. Um, <laughs> Yo, this is getting longer each yeah. week. We don't talk about footy. Dan's got the stronger together shirt on tonight. It's nice of you to dress up. It's good. Got it from uh, Libby. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit yeah, small. Jules goes small. <laughs> You're strong, yeah, but like you Jules, like chest down, you need work. <laughs> <laughs> for the opposite yeah. reason. <laughs> you need work. Uh, Brisbane's panting for just by What's the way. What's the score? Uh, 26 to 2. Yeah, right. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here, to talk about, we're here to talk about Thursday night, boys. Yep. And it was another win, and it was another thrilling 2-0. Win. 2-0, made, made, boys. Made, Take it to the bank and run. Yep. Made yep. history Thursday. First team ever in the history of VFL, AFL to win six consecutive games. Our last six wins consecutively have been by under a goal. There you go. First team ever. So that needs to start changing. It, it needs will. To start putting teams away. It will. And we'll go into that in a minute. I've got a little clip from um, Jack Silvani talking about banking points. But anyway, we'll go through that in a minute. Match report final score Carlton 12 14 86, defeated Richmond by five points 12 9 81. Goals for the Blues to Conning, Chera, Coral. Oh, Coral, Cottrell, Hollands. I've got Jules's disease. Hollands, <laughs> Kennedy, one each. Kerno and Oe's two each. And Mackay with three. No injuries for the Blues, which was fantastic to see. Yes. Finally. What do you want to start? Posts? <laughs> well, why don't we start with pre-game as we do? How did you feel coming into it? I felt confident. Yeah. Did- yeah, I think it was very different. I think we said it last pod. It was very different in terms of um, going into it, um, you know, than any other year. That's well, what, they, that, that's what I thought. The yeah, and we, correct. And we just beat in prison at the Gabba. Yeah. Um, I know it was by a point, but obviously different environment and um, and whatnot. So um, obviously very confident, but um, obviously going into the actual game. Um, and, and even in the first, second quarter, I still felt confident, particularly the way we were playing. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say what I want to say, but Joe, what are you? What? How are you? Going into the game? Yeah. I thought we were going to belt them, to be honest. Yeah. By 40 plus. Yeah. And to be honest, if we had taken our chances in the second, probably would have probably would have turned out that way. Just weren't, weren't clinical enough in front of goal. Jules, I want to touch on what you said because the whole game, I actually was calm. Yeah. I think, and despite it being so close, I had no worry that we were going to lose. You guys were that calm that, it was neck and neck in the last quarter. Yeah, we're talking and you had about... a twenty minute conversation about the education. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Legit. We did. We're, we still, actually we're did. still watching the game. We're still watching the yeah, game. But you just weren't worried. You weren't thinking. Yeah, no, no, we weren't yeah, honestly. We genuinely weren't. But when have we been like that? On no, it shows I, I, where... I did feel the same too. But seriously, yeah. it showed it shows us now the trust that we do have in this side to get it done because in a close game like that, especially against Richmond, we'd be on the edge of our seat. And I think Agreed. they have trust in themselves now, obviously being through games like that where, especially now the last six games, are one less, um, one, you know, six in under a goal, that they have that much belief in each other that they're going to be able to get across the line. Yep. I'm skipping a bit here, but to follow on that is Charlie moving down back the last X amount of minutes shows us that we're learning and shows us that we're working on what our, from previous games, yeah? And that we're, trying to rectify that so that's big for me 
he, yeah, he, he did going back there. He Two marks it, and a spoil. He did against Suns moment. last year yeah. as well in a close game. So he's there. Use him as a weapon. Like we, if you need to float him back late in the game. Yeah, well, but we're thinking about these moments now because we've been in them and we're exposed to him a lot more. Yeah, I don't know if that's um, coaching. I think that's just him. Mm. I reckon it's how he feels. Oh, and how no, he said, I reckon uh, they'd, be, they'd be saying, Listen. I think there was something, there was, after the Gold Coast game, there was, um, there was something last year, there was something said about training sim, doing that with him. They, 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 they've worked on they it. Well, we've seen it that, twice yeah. now. Yeah. Mm. They, they have trained for that. So, it's he's a weapon. Use him. Why not? Not full time, but, you know, if it's close, why not? You, you don't need him forward of the ball. You just got to hold on for 30 seconds at the end of the day. Yeah, so. that's it. Um, Lost my train of thought. No, we'll, the first I'll, skip, quarter. I'll skip the bit because obviously we'll t- now we'll talk about first quarter because I'd skip to. Well, the we don't have to talk time. about the first quarter. You can talk about whatever you want. What, what do you want to start? What do you actually want to start? Well, I think I want to talk about the way we moved the ball in that first half in yep. particular. Yeah. Because I think we've seen us. Massive. We've seen us though move the ball, and we were impressed last year. But what we'd seen I'd with those seen. passages, handball chains and kicks. Yeah, I've never seen us move the ball like that. Not that dynamic. Before. No. For that amount of time. That easily. Um, yeah, and I just feel like as if the connection between when we did kick the ball, there was always someone rece- with the handball or receive um, and then be able to move the ball forward as well after that. Um, and it was the ball was always in motion, um, which was great to see. Um, and you saw you saw the likes of, um, you know, Saad, Newman, um, even Cripps getting the ball, dishing it off. And yeah, like I said, the ball's in motion and it sort of shifted Richmond's defense and not struggling with the yeah, ball. The way we were getting the ball inside forward 50 was, um, yeah, it was incredible. Uh, for me, it was just instinct. We yep. played off instinct yep. continuously for that first and second quarter. Well, it was great. Instinct, but obviously they trained it. Yeah, of course. They, they trained it. it in preseason. So, it's been a big focus and we've kicked how many goals in the last two weeks off transition? I don't know, but anyway, I, we'll I, know, I, know, I know against Richmond. <laughs> Speaking of ball movement, so it was blister, it was blistering for us to watch. Do you agree? Like, it was the first like, half, yeah. First half, like that, and not even like it, even patches in the third and fo- in third and fourth. Like we had, we had, we you see the intent to move the footy quickly. It's unbelievable. It's completely different to what we saw last year. And I remember turning to to you boys and to our parents and going, "I've never seen a Carlton side move the football at a blistering pace like we're watching here." We couldn't execute in the second quarter. It was disappointing. Couldn't execute late in the game. If we had it done that, we may not even be saying that we had down yeah. patches, to be honest, in yeah. the game. Yeah. I think um, in terms of moving the ball from D50 on, like, forward, I think we did move the ball really well. Um, it was probably moving the ball out of stoppage, which is – because sometimes yeah. we did get our hands on it, yeah. but then obviously in terms of moving the ball, we weren't able to. So yeah, we did. When um, the game got closer, though – it, we didn't move the ball as well as what we could have e- exiting day 50. Like, yeah. do you remember how many times, say, um, we wouldn't pick that right option to exit where Sar could get a quick handball? We were out. We'd try to take, like, Young would try to take that kick, mm. wouldn't work out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and maybe that might have been a bit of nerves from the players. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I think you're right with the stoppage stuff. We'll get to stoppages in a minute. I want to play a clip from Jack Silvani. He was on 3AW. Today, he's got a 3AW role throughout the year, just some color commentary that he's going to do while he's injured. Which is great to see. Which is great to see. It's good to see Sauce up and about. But he was asked about uh, Thursday's game and what he thought. Um, I'll play the clip and then we'll discuss. Thursday just gone against the Tigers was a very different game where um, it probably ebbed and flowed a bit more. But uh, we, I'd, I'd suggest that we probably didn't play the way that we'd like to uh, for long enough. Um you know, Richmond were Richmond lost three players. I, I think they were down to two on the bench. Um, so really, we should have been able to run over the top of them, and we still gave them a sniff late. So um, yeah, I think the way we moved the ball on Thursday was very different to the way we moved the ball against Brisbane when we started to get going. We played very straight, very slow, um, pretty boring footy. So um, yeah, it was it was a different sort of game. But I mean. You know, you take the four points. Um, a win's a win, and yeah, sometimes you've got to bank them early, yeah, don't you? Sometimes you just got to win ugly and take them and get out of there. Just before we go into this, I just saw a comment from uh, Gavin Whelan. Is this a live recording still, or, or are you talking amongst yourselves in live chat? It's live. We're live every week, and we'll we'll tell you if if we're not live. But uh, yes, we are live, Gav, and uh, good to see you again in the live chat. Uh, sauce, back to sauce. So slow and boring. Is basically how he, he described it. Now, 
we just spoke about how we thought it was so blistering. That took me by surprise because, and the first thing I thought was, well, obviously for us, it's very different and it looks very different, right? And the stats you're going to go through in a minute, Jules, will tell you it's very different. But before we go there, what are the, what are the standards inside the four walls of the club? Huge. If that is now labeled as slow and boring for me. Yeah, no doubt that their expectations are lifted. And I feel like as if it's not just the coaches, I feel like as if it's the players as well. I mean, Savani's just come out, obviously, in the media today um, with his role in 3AW. But um, there's been other, you know, in Carlton media, um, even in you know, media and broader, um, you know, mainstream media, uh, where the players have actually spoken out in terms of expectations and feel like as if they've um, underachieved from last year. And obviously, especially, they, they just always discuss the home away season. Um, how the first half of the season was really patchy, mm. particularly that six or seven games where we weren't performing, and how they want to be a consistent home and away seat, um, home and away team. So I have no doubt the expectations have lifted, um, and obviously, you know, coming second or third or third place last year overall um, with completion of finals, no doubt the expectations have to lift, don't they? Yeah, it has yeah, to. Yeah, for sure, it has to. Yeah, especially where we want to get to as a club. But because what stood out for me was that he stood. once stood. He wants Jules Sinjong. Is it is it just is it just yeah, me or, or is Joan Pov um struggling? <laughs> yeah, we're catching it from you. Go. Anyway. He wants that just saying, type boys. of ball movement over four quarters. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine exactly. if we do. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. Well, I mean, even Forget is it sustainable? Look, it's probably not. I mean, against against a side like it's Rich- all turnover. Yeah, and against a side like Richmond. It possibly. is a more sustainable brand. It, it genuinely is. Off yeah. You see that. Yeah. You see yeah. that every year. Yeah, well, in you finals. Need, you need a mixture of both. In you, finals, it is. Yeah, you need a mixture of both, but the fact that we've got it going. And you know what? To continue this, it probably links. Um, so, boys, just going off the back of pre-season in terms of our focus, obviously last uh, last game against Brisbane, turnover game was was huge. Um, and it was the same on Thursday night against Richmond. Um, we had nine goals from turnover yep, against huge. Richmond out of 12. So that's massive. Obviously, what they've worked over in pre-season, it didn't only just work against Brisbane. It obviously worked against Richmond as well. Um, I have no doubt it's going to obviously continue. But it's just going to be scary if we actually get our stoppage game going, because we lost by six in the, in, in, yeah, in the clearances against Richmond. Um, you know, in the which is our one wood. And, to, yeah, which is to, usually to put, our one, one wood. To put this into perspective, when we came out last year after that Essendon game, and we had that second quarter against Gold Coast, we kicked nine goals from stoppage. Nine mm-hmm. goals from stoppage in the second quarter alone. We've kicked nine goals off turnover of the 12 that we kicked yeah. on Thursday But night. does this not show everyone that layer now? That we've now that we've or well, they've it's spoken there. about. It's there. It's there. And like last year, remember how there was a massive focus on defense? Yep. Defense, defense, and we kept talking about other elements. But he was purely focused on defense. And this preseason, it was all about ball movement and ball movement. And that's what we're obviously noticing and seeing more yep. in our stoppage work. So if we then maybe start to pay some attention to our stoppage work once we know that this ball movement is what we want it to be to move forward, I think that's when we're going to start seeing those numbers well, improve. Jules, you yeah. made a good comment on personnel is a big fit thing as well. It is. You call yeah. Walsh out of there. Yeah, Jules, like, Jules you, you made a good comment about that. Is that it's fo- like you're not you're not concerned around the stoppage game because it's our one wood, and naturally we're probably going to be able to build that layer. But he knows that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think he knows that as well. Yeah. Um, and obviously you've got to keep it in mind as well that, you know, Walsh isn't in there. Um, um, even the likes of, for example, Pito, he's playing in the VFL. Um, he's obviously big in terms of that, whether they play, you know, TDK and Pito at the same time, in the same game, um, you know, still, still remains to be seen. Obviously Pito didn't really have a great preseason as well. No. Obviously coming off. I think he was the only one that actually went in for surgery mm. um, from memory. And really didn't even complete any preseason game. I know even against um, yeah, against game. Melbourne, yeah. he he was sort of doing some some running drills. We only played three quarter time, yeah, or half time. Yeah. He was doing it, so um, you know he's probably a little bit still underdone. So obviously, if he does come back into lineup, he's going to help as well. J- Williams and Boyd. Mm-hmm. Hold okay. on, just just before we go, I know what you're going to talk about in terms of ball movement, right? Are they a big factor as to why this? Can I can this I just happening? can I just say something and then I'll answer that? Go okay. because I just looked at the stats here because we're talking about creating score off turnover. Yeah, we laid 69 tackles, yeah. huge to turn yeah. the ball over on Richmond's end 79 times, 
14 tackles inside the forward 50 as well. Yeah. Massive. 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 What not, they have, 10? Not relying. Eight. That eight. eight. That there eight. And the amount of tackles they laid were 54 for the game. So still yeah. still relatively okay. But we had but more of the pressure's we, intense. But we had more of the footy. Yeah. Usually you, you, you lay more tackles in a game a lot of the time when you're chasing. We weren't chasing if we if we mm. had more of the footy. And early on, I think, we had a lot more of the football early I think on. I think for them it was hard for them to get near us. Um, and the reason being, you can see it in the stats as well. Um, where was it? Where do I have it? We had, I think it was 98 marks. Um, even uh, we had 98 marks. I don't know how many marks they had, but we had 219 uncontested possessions, um, possessions yeah. and they had 169. So we were able to move the ball. Um, obviously in finding, yeah. Um, they weren't able to, and they were able to nullify them. They were not yeah, able to massive. nullify us. For so the nature of the game, go back to Williams and Boyd. Yeah, well, I said before, boys, that Williams and Boyd. Do you see them as the two critical uh, pieces? In being able to move the ball as effectively as we have been, or especially for that patch that we saw, yeah, I do. Um, because Boyd, Boyd's ball use is unbelievable, yeah, really, really yeah. good. But I also feel like as if it helps Saad as well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, being able to have players like a Saad, like a Boyd, like a Williams in the side, I mean, they can always, um, and you've seen it, Saad's able to lock down as well now, um, over the last year or so. Williams been able to do it. And obviously with his ball movement, Boyd's coming in, in his own as well in terms of obviously getting games under, underneath his belt. Um, I feel all three of them are able to play both sides of the game really well. And for opposition, that's a headache. Mm. Davey just said, good point. Do you, do you know what? Hold on, hold on. Davey in the live chat just said, good point, Jules. You're not just a great ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Thanks, mate. Um, also, good. you know what? As well, um, it's going to be, it's gonna, you know what? You know what else has helped with our ball movement? McGovern. He's, oh, kick, yeah. he's kicking. Oh, he was sensational on yeah. Thursday night. Yeah. yeah, I think when we get to our votes, we're going to get hammered a little bit in the live chat because yeah. I'll watch the game back. Nah, he's been, he was really but good. We, oh, we knew that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a reason for not putting him in my votes. I, I anyway. do as well, yeah. which a couple of times situations where it was I mean, the it was it. the the yeah. shying away in that yeah. thing against Martin. Yeah. There were a couple. He had a couple, a couple of, of moments, moments where like it could actually have cost us the game. He's kicking through the corridor. Or finding someone in through inside the corridor was exceptional. Yeah. Um. On Thursday night, it's and he's always ability, been capable. It's 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 not it's not just that it's his ability where he takes the intercept or he wins the one on one and he just goes. Yeah. There's no hesitation. He just goes. Yeah. And that's what we need more of coming out of the back he's half. Confident. This is how we're going to play. He's my, very very confident. My only very concern confident. about about Thursday night was the fact that we kicked two goals seven in, in that second. second quarter when we should have put a very shit team away. Well, yeah. I looked and it at, shouldn't have even got to there. I looked at it the really set shot chart on that after the game, and we didn't really hit that V out of the um, goal square. You know that, right. that you know that yeah, V yeah. between like goal square to thirty meters. You don't really want to be outside of that too much on the boundary. We weren't really hitting that up, and I think that's actually a, a layer that we've probably lost with this transition game. Is because we're so frantic, we're hitting the first target that we see. You haven't a not really. Ways, yeah. We're not really looking back to yeah. the middle. Yeah, but that's 50. up to that's up to the likes of. Fog, Cunners. Nah, you know, you know what it is. You they're, know, they're that next kick. You know what it is for me. It's Jack Martin. It's it's the smarts of someone like that. Oh. The football smarts of someone like that. Where you bring him back into the side, I think that's going to come naturally as well. He's a, he's a very very smart footballer that we're obviously missing in that regard. Yeah. But the fact that we weren't hitting that V and we still kicked eighty six points is phenomenal, mm, and we yeah. still had so many scoring I shots is phenomenal. I still think um, adding the layer of well, not even adding the layer um, when Wedering does come in. Oh, especially with his kicking as oh, well. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to add another layer in terms of our ball movement as well. Oh, he's and shape, everything. Do that. Yeah. Everything. So, you know, that's a good transition as well to this. So, we were talking today about um, Ollie Hollands. Yeah. Uh, and who, who of the current 23 that we saw on Thursday goes out of the side when Walsh, Martin, Motlop, Wiedering, and Marchbank are all fit? Because those five players play every week, yeah, right? Of course. They, they just do if they're fit. So, who comes out? Because it's hard, right? Ollie Hollands was one I threw up, and you said no. This is a good discussion because for me, Ollie, he's fantastic. His efforts unbelievable, right? Second repeat efforts, his gut running, fantastic. And you made a point around he gets he's always on that last line of defense like Acres gets a spoil in. He's he's where you need him to be. His work rate's second to none that yeah. allows he's, him to do that. For yeah. me, at the moment, he's not finding the ball enough. And when he's got the ball, his disposal is a little a little bit for the for the way that we want to play and as clean as we need to be in transition. His disposal at times at? is a little bit. 
Um, I can see what he went. Yeah, I, I just think for a player like a, like an Ollie Hollands, I just feel like as if he's running and especially his reading of the game to get back like he did against Lynch um, for the spoil, spoil in the first quarter. Um, it helps other players find the ball or cheat to say forward of the ball to be an outlet. But is that not more so system? And this is where I go back to Weeder. But I don't think, in. I don't know if there's an, we, you know, we've struggled for wingers in the past. Now we've got Ollie Hollands and we've got an Acres to take one of those out. I don't know if you're it's, I, I, but. So you're saying a Jack Carroll. He's been playing that half forward role. Won't majority have to of the when Jack Martin comes in. But majority of the time he has been. Over the last year or so, he's been playing mm. that role. But he can play a wing role. My point is, and, and the other point to this is with Weedering and Marchbank back in, that defensive that defensive shape behind the ball is more solid. Realistically, like, yeah, like, though, so do you need so do you need an Ollie Hollands always getting back on the last line of defence? Is my point. It's a good discussion, regardless. Ollie Hollands had eight touches for four turnovers against the Richmond. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. And he was probably he only had eight touches against um. And Richmond look, he's young. Well. I'm not. I'm not here to have a crack at Ollie. He's young. He's, no. he's obviously still got a lot to learn. He's got a lot of development to go. And he's a gun. He is a gun for where he's at in his football career. I'm just saying, this year we're going to have to make tough calls. Well, that's what I was going to say. When, when players are fit, we have to make some tough calls. I was going to I was going to follow on from that because at the end of the day, if you've got players performing, but you've got a player like Walsh, a player like Marchbank, for example, and a player like Weed is coming in, and Martin, yeah. like someone's going to miss that yeah. probably doesn't deserve I, to. I just think for a player... They play. Do, do they not? They have to play. Yeah, they, they do they play. play. I just don't know if he's the one that comes out. Yeah, well, that's a different discussion. The same discussion. No, it's not. Because you're just saying, because we haven't gone through who else. Yeah, but we could. Well, well, Jack Carroll for me is a no. At the moment? He's been too good. Yeah, that's right. I, I can't take He's him out. He's been too good. I can't yeah, take but him out. for example. In, in, for these, if player, I based it on these two games, you can't take Jack Carroll out of that side based yeah, but, on what he's done. Who's, like... You can't if, take if, Kennedy? If Walsh, if Walsh comes out... If Walsh comes sorry, in. Sorry, if Walsh comes in, someone that's on ball or playing a half-forward role is going to have to come out. Always? Yeah, but then Martin's coming in. Martin, Martin's Martin probably, and Motlop coming in. You know, and, 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 and always has kicked, what, three in two games. There's names, though. Fantasia. Yeah, Fantasia. This for me, a Cunningham. This is the point. There's yeah. a few players. Is, it's get, there are going to be, and there have to be, selection calls that are made. No one other than a very, very select few that just have to play week in, week out should escape any criticism. This year. Oh, for sure. But what do the listeners think, hey? Well, what do they, on, yeah, what do they the, say, actually? I mean, on the Ollie Hollands... Um, See how Jules does that? He crosses to the... We, you probably need to do a little bit more of that. I'm taking but No, but I, I, I do flash them up on screen. I flash the comments up yeah, on screen as you guys are talking. You should engage them. I am. Just. I'm flashing them up on screen. But on on the Ollie, on the Ollie Hollands discussion, it's 50-50. A lot, some are saying he stays in. Some are saying he shouldn't escape the criticism or whatever it may be or the form form slumps or whatnot and he has to go find form in the twos. And this isn't just... I, I know. We, Sometimes Ollie, you can't just look at effort. I know we just used all, correct. Sometimes what, you can't. Because what happens if he has a down game with with his effort? Yeah, yeah. And he's that's one thing. Then he's got nothing to fall back yeah. on. You've got to look uh, at products. Look, so, and and I'm just using but... Oli. I'm just using Ollie as an example here. I don't want him to be a sacrificial lamb. That's not what this is about, no. right? But it's an example to show there are going to be players that are stiff to not get selected throughout this year, and that's the way it has to be now. Yeah, it has to. We've got 32 players on this list that can come in at any point. Yeah, I just 32. think I just think more structurally, and I don't think an Ollie Hollands will come out for a. Yeah, for a for a Walsh, I just don't see, I don't I just don't see it happening. Positionally, and, and, yeah, I just and, don't see it happening. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Um. Uh. Yeah, let's talk clearances. So, well, right, we okay. did see just quickly. We did see it's on clearances because we did see Cripper and Kennedy again in the ruck. Mm -hmm. Done it again. Yep, didn't mind it. Liked it. Thought it was really good. And yeah. you know what? Anyone and we wanted... burst out of we burst out of out of stoppage a few times yep. with that. He's with the other one. Sort of tactic. He's the other one. Harry. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Around the ground, yeah. That's Even at enough. center bounce. Because like, cause Richmond threw Noah Bolter in at a center bounce. So, obviously, the directive is if if you see that they're going to throw a key position player in the ruck at a center bounce, you go. Give Tom a rest. Because yeah. you don't see H going up against big ruckman. No. Like, it's not going to no. happen that way no. at a center bounce. It makes sense to me. It really does. It really does. And it's working. And to be honest, hey, it's, fuck it's, his confidence is, is through it's the sky. Roof, just it's probably just going to get better as well. Oh my god! It's probably just going to get better in terms of his ruck ability. Obviously, with yeah, of time. course. Yeah. Can we that just Brisbane talk? Can we, game, can we just that talk? Brisbane game was so massive. Can we give him? Can we actually give him his dues? Because he we is in to, some stupid. I think giving his dues for last year. Well, we, we've known around the ground yeah. what he's been doing. He's just adding goals. Like the guy just nailed. How about the 
How about the goal from like 55? From 55 out. <laughs> Not the first time he's done Buddy, it. Hey, but, but just I effortless. It. I filmed it against all of them. Effortless. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Flushed I mean, it. He, he did, flushed it perfect. He's flushing he, every single one of these. Why kick three goals? Has he snapped it all this year? No, no I don't think so. No. The no. other thing is he had has his moments as well, but boy. But he goes he's, again. It's different. Correct. It's different. His correct. psychology and around how about it. how about his when he kicks the goal, his um his celebration. Oh, he's got to live out. He's up and he's about. He's got oomph about him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's up and yeah. about. He's got oomph. He's up and about. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's talk about the fact that we were probably our own worst enemy on Thursday. Well, for not that. for not putting that game away earlier. I'll so explain that with the goals. It's no, no, crucial. no. We'll talk. Like obviously, we've spoken about two goals seven in the second. I'm not yeah. talking about that. I'm talking about Charlie's miss. Just brain fades. Charlie from the goal square. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Jordan Boyd missed the sitter. He's not a goal kicker. I understand, but he's a good kick regardless. And he missed a, a genuine sitter yeah. in that last quarter. There were so McGovern. He's like so. We'll go back to McGovern. As good as he was with ball in hand. He ducked three times. Yeah. yeah. Kemp. Didn't want the contact. Kemp going up for a screamer as the last defender, dropping it, Dustin Martin out the back goal. Kemp's we were handball. yeah, the handball. Like the, we, were, moments. we were our own worst enemy in so many moments, and it genuinely almost cost us the game. I kept saying, like, we're doing everything to try and lose this game. We did so ma- so many things that you just think, what's going on here? Because <laughs> as good as Richmond were, for me, they they never looked like they were gonna beat us. No. I was getting worried. We're in the last quarter we're making basic fundamental errors again with football in hand like i don't know jules i don't know i, just, I feel exactly the same um i mean i still wasn't worried no we surprisingly no. i still wasn't worried um but yeah i just feel like as if those kinds of mistakes with ball in hand or you know ducking when you probably should be going up for the the mark or spoiling the ball and things like that um i mean if we had played like that against brisbane the week prior with the effort that they put in mm. um, for the four quarters, then I think the result would have been there's very, games, very different. There's games in sport and in, in sport that where you just sometimes, even though you don't play as well, you just better yep. and you win. And, two, and, three and years we ago, saw that. Two, three years we weren't ago, that team. We were Richmond on Thursday. Correct. We weren't yeah. that team. We couldn't but get it now, done. That's right. But now we are that team. Or well, against Richmond anyway, you could see that we were just better than them. Mm. And... Sometimes in sport, that's just how it falls. As much as they probably played better for long periods of the night, to be fair. They did, did they to know? be fair to them, yeah, they probably did. did. Do you know what? They I got think, on top of us a lot. I think I, yeah. I think I think overall, overall, their game was probably better in different facets. It's I just think chaotic chaotic style. I just think that on the turnover, we were a lot better. Mm. Of course. Stats show stats that. Stats show that. Yeah. How many inside fifties did we have compared to them? It's a good question. Because uh, I reckon we We had 65. Them. They had 50. There you go. That's 65 uh, for 30 shots at goal. That's what I'm saying. Which is a 46% efficiency Correct. rate, which you take every week. So it's not like we still weren't creating chances. No. But because we missed chances. So this is the thing. Because we missed those chances early on in the second to not bury them, and then we're making mistakes in the last, like basic fundamental handballs where we can't even hit a 15-meter handball, it compounds, right? Yes. If you nail those those shots in the second and you make those, those mistakes late, you don't look at it. No, you, you don't. If you're going inside 50 that many times and, you, and your opponent's scoring a lot easier, then they obviously gives them confidence. Of course. But for us as supporters or for me watching it, I, I had this confidence about us that we were getting the ball in so easy that the chance will come. Mm. You, you understand? The chances kept coming. With yeah, it coming right. that easily, the yeah. chances kept coming. We just had to convert. Yeah. Now, if we do this two or three weeks, then we're going to – there's issues. So yeah. we've just got to keep a little tab on it. I mean, we're lucky. I'm not that- reading into do- – it's not doom and gloom because, like I said, yeah, we take I mean, four points. Yeah. So you forget about games like this. They know they know what what happened, and you move on. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Voss even said post um, game. I mean, this is a little bit off topic, but they really just wanted to go play these two games, have a bit of a rest, a and rest then two, I don't know two. about that rest that, comment. I, I heard him did say. Did you it. hear him say that? Did, yeah. yeah. So to get through those two games, and then from there in round three, go on a run. Um, it's. Good that we banked two wins. Of course. Well, we didn't think we were going to be 2-0. I thought we'd be 1-1. I didn't think we were going to be 1-1. Yeah, correct. Especially with the injuries. And we're going to, we are got up north. But having the bye, like obviously this year, as the first time, like if it was last year, you don't have this thing. Like yeah. you're not yeah. banking for the bye in round two. No. Yeah. Not after you've done a massive preseason. No. Yeah. I don't know. For me, for me, the bye is... Like does Wittering play if we don't have the bye? Probably does. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Like he plays this week. Yeah. 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 Play, probably Correct. does. Yeah. Like he's just saying that on, on in terms of the players that he gets back. Correct. But I think they would have come back for playing North Melbourne this week. I reckon they would have been back in. Correct. The, the, the buy in, 
I don't understand. Like, if you're going to have two buys in a season, Stop. surely it's like round eight and round 16. I just think if you're going to do opening round, that's fine. Do it in Brisbane, do it in Sydney, but have all the teams play. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah but that's not opening yeah. round. It's round one. Just yeah, have it round one. Saying. Yeah, but like call yeah, it that's right. Call it round, round, round two. No, like, no, whatever. but Jules right. Call, just call open. Nah, if they want to make it, if they want to make why, it, like, why aren't nah, you? Because it's like when they do gather round, right? They want to make it a thing so that people travel, right? They want to do round one is a pretty big thing. Nah, but if they want to call it opening round, it's like in like in basketball. Yeah, it's tip off week. I didn't even know that. Right, it's the same thing, right? So it, if, they right? Make, if they want to do a marketing ploy and make a thing of it, that's fine. It's the first game. Just have all yeah, the correct. teams play interstate. That's fine. Just do it in the one week so we're not sitting here next week. We've got nothing to talk about. What are we going to do next week in this podcast? I have no idea. I'll speak about this week. today. Oh, yeah. I can speak about Dober do- do- Gangers. We can um, speak about my no, we cars. Got we got content. We'll be right. We've got to do a review anyway. We'll be fine. Uh, preview, sorry. A preview, yeah. No, yeah, well, we've we'll got to do a preview. We've got to do a preview, yeah. But how, right. mm. how much is there to talk about North Melbourne? <laughs> yeah, really. You just, just stop liking. Uh, there's 87 of you watching live. Super. Watching, Super. watching live at the moment. If you haven't already, like a video, subscribe to Bull Broad. And if you're listening on Spotify, hit that five stars and hit, give us a follow. Big, it's important for us this year on Spotify, actually. I've said this every week, but the more that can follow us, the, the better this is going to be for everyone. That's all I'm going to say. Just based on how the algorithm on Spotify works and whatnot. So, how does it get better than this, though? Oh, this is fantastic, but I want more. Like Jules says, I always want more. <laughs> we'll do the, the episode next year in the Taj Mahal. <laughs> um, we're going to go through our votes, uh, unless you guys got anything else that you want to bring up about the game specifically. Did you want to talk more about that stoppage work? I want to speak no, about TDK, to be honest. Well, we'll do that in, in the votes. He's in our votes. So we've got, we've we'll got to talk then. about that patch. Let's let's go to our votes. We're going to go to our votes now. Leave your three, two, ones in the comments. And also, if you've got questions that you want us to ask, if you've got questions that you want us to answer, this is now the time. Jules. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's the Jules. It's our Jules. <laughs> that buy next week, someone else hosts. Sorry. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a buy next week. So you guys can do it. I don't care. Practice. Uh, Practice. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the time to leave your questions for us to answer after we get to our votes. But boys, let's go into this. Uh, Jules, we're we're all the same. Aren't we the same? Thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we've all gone Cripper, Harry, DeConning. Me and Jules went Crips, three, Harry, two, DeConning, one. And you went, you switched DeConning and H. You had DeConning for two and Harry for Yeah, one. yeah. That's so right. you Just guys take talk, it away. This is a little, because we're going to talk about DeConning, obviously. And take it away. But they're going to hammer us for not having McGovern in there. I already know. Well, it's a special mention to McGovern because we we're actually wrecking our brains about Gov. Well, can I, can I, I just say the only reason I, I was going to have him in? It stood out too much, the mistakes that he made. The only reason I didn't have him in was because it could have cost us. Those, that duck of the head two, three times can mm. genuinely cost out. And for me, too costly to have him in the vote. I just don't still think, think it was the best game he's ever played for the, the club. the stats that he had, though? Like, oh, unbelievable. Inset possession, score involvement, yeah, but means I just, gain, like everything. Joke. still think it's the best game he's ever played for the I club. Just I just couldn't have him in the vote. I just don't think a player like that should be doing those things yeah anyway oh, let's yeah, let's, get him. let's talk let's talk <laughs> correct yeah yeah and that's, that's why he's not, that's why he's not in the votes we've already spoken about harry yeah, oh it's in right. the mistakes yeah correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah. mistakes i thought you meant you can make a mistake and, with a kick. I thought you meant score involved no, 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 no what's no. this going about we've already spoken about harry the conning go for it um to conning um i just feel like as if he's coming of age a little bit um i think he's getting a bit more consistent and off the back of that i think he had a five minute patch that arguably won us the game. He took the game on the balls, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, for me. Um, and I feel like as if I think the majority of people at the actual game sense it. I don't know if it was like that at home. But yeah, like I said, majority of people at the game felt like as if, you know, and even Cripper actually pointed at the goals, like go have a, go have a shot. Um, yeah, there was a few things that he did throughout the course of the game, but particularly that five minutes with winning the the free kick, um, he took a good mark. The goal, the goal, big mark actually on half back, massive yeah. big intercept. So yeah, I just feel like as if he's, I mean, he's what 25, 26 now, I think. So he's probably about the age where Ruckman sort of um, starts hitting their peak. I think he's younger than that. I think he's only twenty four. Yeah, he might wow. be. Anyway, I, I I was with you. There's a few comments here saying he only played well in the last quarter. He won the hitouts. I gave him two. I gave him two votes. So should I go for it? Go, yeah, yeah, go. Because for me, it's big on like we always talk about moments, and the game was in the balance at that point. And if you think about and you say a name, what are you laughing at? Because I'm holding it. I'm not laughing. If you think of a name in that last quarter that stood out to 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 essentially what bring it in our favor, it was him. Mm, He did. When and, the game was in the balance, and yeah? in games like that, when it is in the balance, massive moments, you've got to look to impact, and you've got to look to moments. Yeah. At the end of the day, mm. 
He stood up. When we That's why game to. two. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. He stood up. At like, And he won the hit outs for the day. Sorry. We won the hit outs for the day, which means he obviously did his, did his part. We didn't win the clearances, but at the end of the day, it's, that's not always up to him. You've got midfielders at your feet. You've got to work harder at the end of the day. But I, I just thought he was brilliant. And when the game was on the line, he took it by the balls. He did it in the semifinal against Melbourne when we needed him in that first, first quarter, stood up and kicked two goals. And when he needed to bomb one from 55, he did it against yeah. Richmond. Like, yeah. if that's what he's going to – if that's what he's capable of now, no problem. This was this time last year, we are talking about Tom DeConning in a very, very different way. Us three, all three of us were talking about him in a very different way. So I'm very happy to see where his developments come. Yeah. Uh, you you even jumped off him at one point. Early on, I called him the Messiah. Yeah, but you jumped off him. <laughs> anyway, him the Messiah? it is good to see Tom doing what he's doing. The he's other thing, age. he's coming of age. Yeah. I'm excited about what he's going to do for the club. You know who else is coming of age? Oh, he's always been of age. We all gave Cripps three votes. Yeah, he had it was 21 contestants. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Twenty. That was as, as Cripps a performance as it gets. The next best on the ground for the Tiger was for for Richmond was 13 contested possessions, and the next best for us was nine. Wow. So you want to talk about contest? We got slapped around at stoppage, but he was there. And this is why I say Sam Walsh is a big loss, but the biggest loss out of this side would be Patrick Cripps. We cannot replace what he does. We can't. We can't. There's no footballer in the land that can get that whose team can get battered at stoppage like we did, but he still finds the ball 21 times in and under. Yeah, it's true. It's a monster stat. I actually didn't know. That's a monster start. Good. I think he still had 17. He had seven. And he no, kicked the goal. Kicked and the goal? That's it. Yep, he did. Oh, I don't know. No, he didn't. Oh, last no, week. No, last week. No, but he had seven tackles no, as well. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. But he had seven tackles. Seven he had tackles seven tackles, tackles as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah who else had seven tackles? Harry Mackay. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 Equal best for us. Seven tackles for a key forward. Anyway. Oh, he's doing things at the moment. Then no one else. Cripper could. No, but if you look at the tackle stats, we're all over them. We've got players. Eight, like yeah. we're we're just on another level with that. that that type of intensity and pressure. That's us. Do you reckon there's a comment here from Kane Everett? Cripps six six Brownlow votes after two games. I it reckon could, he I reckon he genuinely be. could be yeah. close. Yeah. I reckon yeah, Harry close. Harry probably gets three in opening round. To be honest, just because he was so prominent, he'd be on five minimum. Yeah, I reckon he's on H five, yeah. or Cripper. No, Cripps. Cripps. Yeah, Cripper. And uh, yeah, I think Harry could be on four. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, three or four. Um, anything if else? they if they give votes to. Anyone else forwards. you want to talk about throughout the game? No one? We're done? Yeah. Mm. Sold. Comprehensive. Um, all right. We're going to go to... Now we covered that well. We did. Votes leaderboard after two rounds. Lockie Fogarty, one vote in fifth. Uh, also tied with George Hewitt on one vote, who I forgot to put in the graphic. Uh, Tom DeConning, four votes. Charlie Kuno, four votes. Equal third. Cripper, 12 votes in second, and Big H leading the way early on in our MVP on 14 votes, boys. Um, all right, she's back. Dan reckons she writes everything down. She writes everything down now? She's got, well, that's why she's clear, uh, clearing a uh, three minutes 50 for this report. <laughs> it's not three minutes 50. It's, it's about three minutes. Sit down and enjoy Livy's last, last word. Livy's last word. Hey, everybody, it's Livy with Livy's last words, and this is what I thought about the game. Well, Let's just start off with, that was absolutely amazing. I really, really want to start smashing these teams. I really want the boys to start smashing the teams. Like, it's literally just so, like, every single game, I swear, it's always like a, it always feels like a grand final at the end. So I really want Colton to start smashing teams. But anyways, that was just an amazing game. You know, up the baggers, come on. Like, we're so good. I think we're one of the, I think we're grand final premiership fave this season. We are just amazing. I was mind shocked. De Koning, he was definitely one of my favorites of the game. He played amazing. I really loved De Koning in that game. And Mackay, I've got to say, he's definitely gotten his kicking, his goal kicking back. Three goals for Mackay, absolutely amazing. Two for Kerno, absolutely amazing. You know, it was just an amazing game. But I just got to say, Richmond cannot kick the ball. They cannot kick a damn ball. Mate, I'm just saying, they missed a lot. They just missed a lot of open shots 
easy goals. So if they didn't miss those, we probably would have lost. But Cripper played good, you know, and I'm really actually surprised of how good Jack Carroll played. He's definitely, he's a gun. He was also definitely one of my favourites of the game. But I'm just so happy. Such a tough game, but we managed to get the win. I mean, in that last, when the ball was in Richmond's forward 50 at the end of the game, I was freaking, I was pissing my pants. Mate, that was so freaking scary. It just kept, it was just a ball up, ball up, ball up. I was like, come on, come on the baggage. And then we won. Absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of them. They played absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see one of our new young guns playing. So hopefully they I see them play. And I'm really, 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 really missing Sam Walsh. Weeders and Doherty, mate. Doherty's not gonna play this whole season. I'm just sad. I just can't stop thinking about it, to be honest. Next round, we've got a bye, but the next round, we're versing North Melbourne, and I think we're going to take the win for that one. I think we're going to smash them, and hopefully we will, because I can just, I can't go through another one of those matches at the start of the year. But anyways, this, that's what I thought about the game. Go the place! <laughs> Uh, no, Livy, Livy's on fire at the moment. Why are you laughing? Livy's on fire, I said. Livy's <laughs> on fire. Your defence is terrified. Livy's on fire. Now, while that was on, we had a quick discussion because we go, well, we're pretty much done. With we the had show, not, but we're not. We, we had various discussions. We're not. We're not done. We forgot one thing. Yes, because it was disgusting. The umpiring was a joke. Take Terrible. Away. How Take did we away. leave that out? Honestly, oh man, because... the last two rounds have been putrid, but blatant. Blatant decisions blatant, that they get wrong. It was, blatant yeah, wrong fun. decisions and blatant non calls. It's disgusting. It was the worst umpiring I reckon I've seen. Like, were time. we biased or was it really that bad? I feel like it was that bad. I think it got worse today, to be honest with you, with the what ball being. Oh, the ball. yeah. The Water- ball. Jake Waterman. To the yeah, he was holding a sausage. <laughs> no, nah, but there's just no consistency. There is no consistency with their decisions. Nah, it's, it's terrible. I feel for them a bit because I feel like I feel like there's just too much going on in the game now. I actually don't. No, no, not not really. Okay, <laughs> I just feel like if you're going to do a I understand job, what he's saying. If you're going to do a job, do it properly, or else don't yeah, do but, it at all. But yeah. how That's many? But how many layers of rules have they added? Yeah, but quickly? not when they're blatant. Yeah. Like we're seeing things that you just like. But are they? How, can, how can eighty thousand support like people see that mistake? So, but they can't. For instance, right? For instance, yeah, they bring in a rule where you can fend off in the ruck this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Taconin gets done for fending off in the back of Lynch. So it's paid as in the back. Okay. Then two minutes later, Noah Bolter pushes. He doesn't really push, but he, he sort of pushes off Young in a yeah. marking contest. So it does, it. And it doesn't get called. But the ruling on that is that you just like the ruling on it is he can't use your hands, but also he didn't really push him forward. He sort of pushed himself back. So this is where I feel for him. Like there's that there's that many different interpre- interpretations of the, of the rules that the AFL have brought in in such a quick amount of time. Of course, you're going to have these blunders. I don't blame I, the umpires. I blame I think, the AFL. I just do. I think it's rubbish. We need the, the the game needs to be stripped back to basics. They need to look at the laws of the game. They won't go, do it because this was the other one. Did you guys watch the Geelong St Kilda game? I did. Did you watch it? No. Dangerfield Liam Stocker last quarter. Did you yeah, see it? Yeah, yeah. Stocker put his head over the football. Risked his head, yes. got kneed in the ribs, and the free kick went to Dangerfield yeah, for below the right. knees contact. Yeah. I, well, it was, like, of course, me, I feel like, for him as well. If I'm a St. Kilda fan, I'm rogable. Yeah, there's too many laws. Yeah. There's too many laws in, in the game. Look, I, feel, I, feel, I feel for him as well. When I say I'm having a go at umpires, I'm having a go at the AFL more broadly, okay? Um, but when you have rules that are up to interpretation, what do you expect is going to happen? Exactly. That's my point. It doesn't yeah, make any sense. Yeah, yeah, right. How can a rule be an interpretation depending on the day? Yeah, change, that's right. It's always I'm been, sorry. It's always been a game of grey areas. It's this is this. And that's it. And that's it. It's black and white. It's written down on a piece of yeah. paper. It's always been a game of grey areas and interpretation and whatnot. But at the moment, it's really, really bad. And it's becoming hard to watch. It's, it's actually becoming really hard to watch sometimes. It is. 
Like that that first quarter was like you pull, we're pulling our hair out. Going, what, I don't know what they're going to call you. I just didn't. Yeah. And then it's funny because then I spoke to a few Richmond supporters um, after the game, and they were saying, "Oh, we got we got a lot of decisions in the last quarter. It was a crucial decision that went your way that shouldn't have been." Look at this. Look at Literally, this. I got two or three messages of that, Jules. Yeah. Well, well, you got the umpire's decision, but I reckon they half know they've made the error. Do you know what I mean? I, like a half As think it, in the back of their mind they have to rectify make it. it. Yeah. yeah. We got comments. Yeah. We got comments here. Who was it? Because because there was like five or six that led to like I know three clear their, decisions their that led first, to goals. Their first, first five three goals. goals. Yeah. Five, five goals. Carlton flaggers. It led to four minimum goals for the time. That's what I'm saying. We won the free kick count 24 to 17. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. Because I told you, in, in the last yeah. quarter, I guarantee on the back of their mind, they would have had to make it up to us because it was, like you said, four goals. Oh, the like, direct goals from their We've decisions. done 118 of these episodes. I don't think we've ever spoken about umpiring. I think this is the first time. Yeah. yeah well, I, not I like think, this. Not like this. No. Nah. Yeah, not, in, think, this, not, not in, in our game. Aggression. Probably probably more broadly, um, like in terms of the round. Um, or, for example, it could have been like No, nah, but big... just in terms of the frustration. Yeah. Because like, yeah. it is. It's frustrating to watch. It's frustrating. Well, especially when you concede from it. Yeah. Like, when yeah, you got four but goals. My, my thinking is, imagine when it's like a game where, um, you know, for, for example, the for example, the Richmond, was it Richmond Gold Coast, Richmond Brisbane last year? Which What, what game was it? Richmond Brisbane last year? The shot, the goal that went over the behind, oh, the behind place. No, yeah, two years ago. Well, two years ago against Brisbane? Things like that. Like, Either you have the pro- appropriate technology to be able to do it, or you or don't. You don't. I mean, and they still don't. Yeah. Correct, correct. But what I'm saying is, either you do it no, or no, you no, don't. Right. Don't do it. Don't have. Don't half ask it. You can't spend the money. They make enough money. It's a good. Uh, it's a good. Yes or no? Yeah, no, they do. They, they do. make enough. AFL makes enough money to make sure that they put the appropriate technology in there to make sure that it do- that is done and done properly. So AFL do it. Bravo. <laughs> it's a good segue. It's a good rev up. For this. That got us all fired up. For this. Keep calm. Count to ten. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Not happy, Jen! All right. This has got a little bit different today. What? Are we done? You're on the clock. You're not what hosting. happened? He's not hoping. He's not hosting next week. He's on his phone. We're still live. I'm looking at stats. No, you were not. <laughs> Respect the segment. Dan, if you want to host next week, you can host. He's cool. <laughs> He's out. You're not hosting next week anyway. Go. I'll, ho- I'll host the week after. Jules, can I? Ho- can I? An actual actually, round. Can you do your segment? All right. So I said to the boys I was going to leave this one um, in terms of so they hadn't heard it before a pre-show. Um, but it's actually a, um, it's actually not something that I'm not happy about. The one thing I'm not happy about is now. Does anyone know about repotting plants? Hey, you just asked the question to a camera. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm asking. What do you mean? Yeah, we're is, talking to. Is it there a? There's a word for it. Oh, uh, we're talking to <laughs> the. the you there's an actual. You were expecting an instant response. No, there's a technical word for it. For isn't the live there? show. <laughs> there's a technical word for it, isn't it? For what? Like repotting plants. It's called something. Is it? Anyway. Yeah. We'll find out. Listeners, it's something Iation or something these, like that. There's another So, so what I did was that. I got the, the pot. I obviously potted the plant. It was in its normal like pot, yeah? I put into a new one, new soil, whatever. These little, they apparently according to Lauren, they're called gnats. She's in the chat. She? Gnats. G-N-A-E-T-S. Yep. Yep. Lauren, they're called gnats, yes? All right. <laughs> Again. Why can't like, I talk to the camera? Like she, How resp- what, like she responded in that okay. instant. He said yes. Yeah, because she might write in the chat. So oh, you know what? It. They pissed me off. Here, yeah, them two. Him and him. Go, go. She said yes. This is yeah. your segment. Hurry up. They were all over, our, like everywhere in the house at one stage. Ridicul- we had to actually put those plants outside. What are they? Like ants? Nah, they're like, like little flies. tiny, tiny flies. Yeah. Like flies. Jules, when I mean these things multiply, like they are... Ep- you know what you do? You know what I did? Because I had them in my apartment. I just sprayed more team. No, it doesn't get rid it of them. It got it. Joe, no, we I bought... Spray- no, I sprayed the soil. Oh, so, no, <laughs> you didn't think we didn't try that? <laughs> anyway, these gnats, these gnats were cooking us. Right. 
All right. Albert, nats, Albert nats. says Albert says you got small nats as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're hammering you. Go. You know what? <laughs> so you can't get me on these rants, guys. Lose it. Go, go. Anyway, the next one is a um, what did I just see? All right, this is a, this, so this is your second one. And yeah, it's not a not happy Dan. This is just a like, what went on today. What the fuck Dan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So apply, so today for work, I had to go and do the warm up. Just making up segments. Well, because I, I you didn't have a what um not happy. No, nah, I did. Dan, but that did one you? they didn't have enough like oomph. Oh, I yeah. didn't. Mind. Yeah, but go go. Let him finish. We won't cut him off here. Anyway, so I'm training doing the warm up for the a girls soccer team that we take, and I had a match day today. Anyway, the referee you might have known him, Jules. But this guy, yeah, I've never seen this in all the years that I've played and been in the sport. 70, 80th minute. All right. Stop the game. <laughs> no. Game's done. We scored. He goes, all right, guys, last goal wins. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I, I'm not joking. Hold on, what level? But, 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 wait, what level was this? No, so it was like not MPL, but like under. No, but we're talking about adults. That adults. Are playing. Adults yeah. playing. Not kids. And he goes, and he goes, and the coach looks at me and goes, did he just say, what? like, next goal wins? Was he serious? Well, the coach started going, the coach started going, if we can see this next goal, I'm going to flip it. <laughs> so, like, he, he half, the referee half, like, made everyone think, all right, that, we're 14 nil up. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to give, give the other team 14, a bit of hope. <laughs> we're 14 nil up. Ten minutes to go, referee goes, last goal wins. Last goal wins. So Do you know what? He was probably banking that the oh, goal was going to be in the Wait next two this. minutes. Wait for this. Oh. We kicked the goal two minutes later, and he packed up the game. No, he didn't. I swear, he blew the whistle for full time. No, he didn't. I promise you. Hey, do you know what? I You're promise joking. You. Joe, Joe. Do you know what? And I promise what happens? What happens at the end of the season if it comes down to a goal, and you, you guys could have won 16, 17 this, mil? This, this umpire, this referee, Called the game when we kicked the last at goal. the eighty third minute, eighty third, eighty fourth minute, whatever <laughs> it was. Ridiculous. That's his great. There was still five more minutes. I know there was still five more minutes left of the game. Hey, can I just? Uh, fantastic. That's good. Comments here. Frio are now up by three goals. Oh my god! No way! Minutes. No way! Yeah, I want to make sure this is the case. No way! Could you imagine? I mean, Joe at the start of the podcast goes, "Oh, they're pumping them." It was, was, was only four goals. goals. It was up. twenty-six to two. And that it can was change. Quick. It was quick, day. bloke. Joe, that's four goals. It was quick. It's, I'll repeat myself again. It's four goals. Anyway, it was four quick. goals can change. Point really. is, Frio have kicked the next forty-five points of the last forty-eight points. It's in done a count. Imagine if Collingwood and Brisbane start zero and two. You reckon that had ever happened before? Well, the grand finalists have been zero and two. And to be fair, I think Collingwood have. Who do they have next round? They have oh, a hard team as well. They're St. Kilda on Thursday night, right? If they lose that, then they got Brisbane up at the Gabba. They could be 0-4. Oh, yeah. oh, I'd, I'd be, I'd Please. I pray. That, hey, that'd for, be the I'd biggest. pray for those. Four from biggest, Grace. That'd be the biggest premiership. I think everyone yeah, watching. Biggest four from Grace. I think oh, every, everyone watching, if you can, I don't know, last time I prayed, but I might grab the rosary beads tonight <laughs> for the next two weeks. I'm just going to pray. <laughs> I'm just going to say. To be, to be honest, do us a favor. I don't care. As long as, as long as we like this at the end of the and year. And win a flag. Yeah, but it'd be even better if that one was right down there. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, yeah, premiership hangover. Massive. That's massive. That's it. We're done. Good show. Yep. I think. I don't know. Let's leave it up to the listeners. <laughs> See if they like it. If we get view. likes, if we get subscribes, if we get whatever else you want, Jay. Just gave our own. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, yes. I'll say it one more time. You can like and subscribe to Blue Broad if you're still here. And if you're on Spotify, hit that follow button and that five stars helps us greatly. Was that a good what did I just what what did I just see? Did you like that one? The rest. Yeah, we gotta come up with Can a... we do this after the show, the feedback? Oh, like no, I'm about no. to finish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us live. Uh and if not live, thank you for joining us anyway. Uh I would say, usually say until next week up the baggers, but there's no game next week. So we're still going to be here live Sunday night. We'll do something. <laughs> we'll, we'll work out what we're going to do. But uh, What about another live draft? Yeah. <laughs> that would be really good. We might struggle for content. 22. Uh, the other thing is, I'll be on the Blue Broad Show tomorrow night with Pommy, uh, 7 o'clock. So Monday night, 7 p.m. I'll be at the... John Pom. I'll be at the Carlton Hall of Fame tomorrow You will night. be. That's why I'm yep. hosting with Pom, because Tez is going to be there as well. So. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, Enjoy. Good. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the invite, Dan. Until next, and we are, and, we are. and if you think and if you think you're hosting after that, good luck to yourself.
Nah, enjoy. It'll be good. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather actually you hammer me and not go the little. Oh, enjoy. Jules, just gives a little up the baggers.